guys, welcome back to Fan Friday. Today we're going to be answering a couple more of your questions and featuring my replica stick. First question up is coming from Sam Rosenbaum. He asks, what new heads are you looking forward to for the 2015 season? Uh, Sam, I want to have to say that they're probably the new Maverick heads, the Optic and the Tank. Going over to STX, probably the Surgeon 500 and the Stallion U. A lot of these heads are already out already, but the, the one that I'm looking forward to the most is the new Brian Messiah, which is probably going to be very cool. It's, it looks like the old Edge that came out back in the day. I'd have to say that's probably the one I'm looking forward to most due to the cool pattern in the inside of the head. So moving over to the next question is Lacrosse ECM. Will Lacrosse Limited ever come over to the West Coast like California? Uh, I think I touched base on this last video, but I will say it again. Just keep an eye out. I know there's a couple more coming very, very soon. Next question is coming from Down South Lax. He asks, do you prefer Top Ched, Low Pie, or Mid Biscuit? Uh, that's, pretty, uh, that's a tough question. I'd, I'd, I'd probably have to just say if the ball gets in the back of the net, I'm happy with it. So... No matter if it is Top Chad, Low Pie, or Mid Biscuit, as long as the ball goes in the net, I'm fine with that. Cole Williams asked, what's your favorite pocket like, mid-high or mid-low? Uh, I would have to say I like the mid-high, kind of mid-low. I don't know. It's very difficult for me. I don't have a preference. I like to string all pockets. So it depends on the position. So, again, I like both mid-high and mid-low. Ben Fernando asks, what, in your opinion, is the most underrated head? Uh, I would have to say a lot of them out there are pretty underrated. Everyone always gets in their mind their favorite head, and they go with it and bash the other ones. I like to say all of them are awesome. I'm really looking forward to the Maverick Optic as well as the Tank. Uh, I would probably say the Metric is probably the most underrated head since it's being overshadowed by the, the two new heads, so I've you are looking for a head and you think it's underrated, check out the metric. Capital Lacrosse asks, will LU ever come to Canada? Uh, you never know. I'm sure there will be one eventually. We have pretty soon going to be 53, if not 54 stores. So keep an eye out. Maybe not this year, next year, maybe in the, in the years down the road. So I would definitely keep an eye out on that. And ending with Croft Kid, he asks, when you go to a burger joint, what is your premier choice of what goes on it? Uh, I will reference to five guys. If I go there, I get, the, of course, the double bacon. I make sure there's cheddar cheese, grilled onions, lettuce, tomato, and hot sauce. So going back to last week's episode, I told you I would show you my weapon of choice. I would, if I still played today, I would definitely rock the new Maverick Union shaft. It's unbelievably light, great feel. This is how I tape my shaft, kind of the candy cane, up to just about here so I know when I could, when I'm carrying the ball one-handed that I just got to slide it here. I would definitely pick the Maverick Optic. I absolutely am in love with this head. This came out unbelievable. Maverick did an awesome job of designing this. I think this will be the go-to headed for this year. I strung it up with my signature sidewall pattern. I like it kind of mid. I like a lot of whip. So I got the two V's in here with a piece of East Coast mesh, white, of course, for the extra grip. The black it doesn't tend to have as much wax on, on it, so I went with the white. And, of course, I d had to dye it up my alma mater, San Anthony's. It's Vegas with a nice, awesome black fade coming up from the throat. Justin and the die guys did an awesome job with this. I'm really, I'll probably just be warming up goalies with this since I don't play anymore, but make sure you check out the Maverick Optic and the Union. It's a great combo, very light, very strong, and just looks absolutely stunning and a very cool stick. So make sure you tune into next Friday, guys, and comment below. Any questions you want answered, I'll do my best to get to them.